Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Nyx and I'm gonna give you the thoughts that I had about Hugh right after finalizing the game. Um, to start with, I thought it was a very cozy little game. I liked the, the mechanics of having colors and having to um, rotate through them and like use them to be able to proceed in your, in your environment. Um, I'm a little bit shocked about the ending though, but I will take that later. Um, and mechanic-wise, it's very simple. You just use, um, I use like a controller, so you just use like the um, one of the sticks uh, to run back and forth, and then uh, the other stick to choose color. I think you could actually probably use a D-pad as well to just um, to just move uh, or like um, move back and forth. Um, the other button, the only other button that I had to use was the X button interact with things which is fine um but other than that i don't think it was that many other advanced mechanics very 2d like um you don't get too many like additional types of um abilities or such you just like run back and forth and then you use x to interact and then you use the other stick to just choose which color you want to have active and then the background changes and then if the item in front of you is the same color as the background, then it will disappear. So that was basically the mechanics that we had. Um, so that, that was actually completely it. Uh, Story-wise, you are Hugh. And you are trying to find letters that your mom uh, dropped um, after her. So what happened is that she was... Um, she managed to find some kind of ring that supposed to make her see colors very simply speaking um, and then this ring eventually ended up her becoming invisible so your goal is to find her and make her visible again basically more or less um, and she tells a story about how she found the ring how she did it how like this all came about um, so she talks a lot about uh, you know the relationship she had with uh, mr gray which is a professor at the university um, so now spoiler warning at the end uh, you end up finding your mom, which is nice, uh, but then she's like, she says something cryptic like, oh, I hope you understand, we can see you, like, you, you don't control your own destiny and you can, un I hope you understand why this happened or whatnot. And then you get to a cliff, and then on the other side of the cliff, it is your mom and Dr. Gray, and they have a kid. And she's like, so, like, my mind instantly goes to, like, you guys abandoned me? got a new kid to replace me like what the fuck i'm just what um so so that was a little bit of a twist i don't know if that's the way that it's supposed to be interpreted but that's the way i interpreted it and i was like what the um but story wise it was kind of nice and really cozy it's a very nice little cozy game um i think it is very like it, it, it's one of those games you can just chill and play and just like have fun with and there's not much action to it it's just like enjoy the story and enjoy what happened and enjoy the colors more or less um the puzzles i think that they were actually uh, at a decent level there were two of the, the uh, two of the puzzles that i wasn't able to finish um i i honestly were unable to honestly were unable to actually finalize them uh, so i had to look them up how to do it which was like the last uh, the last puzzle and i think it was two or one puzzle before that. i think it was two before that so it was towards the very end so that means that you were supposed to have a little bit of a harder time but i liked it i think that it was a really good level on the, the um the puzzle some of them were really easy some of them were a little bit harder so it's a very good balance um in general, I kind of enjoyed the game. I do prefer a little bit more action-like or a little bit more scary games, but this was a cozy game to just have and play a little bit, you know, now and then. So that's very, very cool and nice. Um, would I recommend it? If you do like very chill games that you just like can play around, follow the story quite heavily, and you do like 2D games, then I could recommend this for you. Um, personally, I don't think... Like I said, I do prefer a little bit more action-like, and I do prefer a little bit more horror games. Um, but it was a cozy one, so I do actually would recommend this game. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will see you next time. Bye! 
thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you didn't enjoy it then well you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again